Welcome back to another video of Tsunami67. Losing is a common occurrence in most people's day. You go log into Prodigy, you go to the dual stadium, you maybe win a few battles, but you also lose one. Now, this is a common mistake, uh, and although I won't say I don't lose because I do lose, a lot of, a lot of the time you can prevent losing. And today I'm going to be showing you a few ways that you can maybe stop losing less in Prodigy um, with just a few tips. Now, like, unlike my other videos, this isn't, like, exploiting the battle, like, using, like, level 1 pets to just make a super easy battle. These are just tips you can, like, integrate into your actual battle or your pet combo or whatever to actually win easier. Now, this isn't actually going to impact, like, what you actually have to do and stuff. This is gonna, just going to be kind of related to how you actually play. My first tip here is actually to not t target the wizard. Now, I know a lot of battles end off with the all-out attack, but here's the thing, as long as you have more speed than them, there's really no point in even going for their wizard. Now, you naturally, if you use AoEs, your wizard will get low enough, since spots typically don't tend to use too many AoEs, they likely just target the pet that they're powerful against. Um, uh, now, as long as you have more speed than them, you have the pretty good speed boots, there's no point in targeting the wizard. Now, how I like to play is I like to target the pet that poses the biggest threat to me. And I'll, I'll show you in this quick demonstration here. Now, a lot of people target the wizard thinking that, well, it's not gonna, it's not gonna do it. Although, like, the pets, yeah, they're gonna be strong if the wizard has the all-out attack and we wanna, ki we wanna kill that guy. It's, it's, that's not the way to think when doing the battles. That's not the way to think. You gotta think, what pet poses the biggest threats to me and right now it's this dude the reason why it's because that guy has the same spell that i'm gonna be using hydro crash this guy poses the biggest threat to me he if he does go first there's nothing i can really do but if he doesn't oh never mind he does all right so although yes we have mythical epic standing here we have this dude standing here we go for this guy he poses the biggest threat to me i a, a big tip here is just to study the spells like honestly you want to be aware of what these things can do to you So that's why I took out that guy instead of this I know that this guy can deal some serious damage to me that will help me prevent a lot of damage in, in future situations Now in this battle, this is a pretty clear victory for us We have healing a lot of healing on oh, that's a lot of damage, but still it's not enough Right, right now, the wizard poses the biggest threat because he has energy. You need to take that into factor as well. So I'm going to use that there. And this is a pretty easy to win battle from this point on. So, keep in mind, that's my first tip. Keep in mind what spells and what pets poses the biggest threat to you. Sometimes that may, be, that may not be the wizard. Because most of the time the wizard, uh, I don't know. It's not, it's, it doesn't have the greatest spells. You gotta keep in mind the merge, you gotta keep in mind the energy, and you got to keep in mind what spells the pets have. It's a lot of things to th think about, but, I mean, that's what Prodigy Battles are about. You gotta think about the stuff you do, not just mindlessly throw spells around. And with that, that's a pretty easy win. There we go. On to the next tip. My second tip is to know your wizard spells. Now, what I mean by this is a few things. Now, before I had an infinite loop of spells using um, shooting stars and uh, uh, astral storm, or, or that sounds so weird to say now. But obviously, yeah, the, that stuff is gone in the past. I don't have a loop anymore. But what you have to be careful of is your wizard being useless. And I know that my useless round is round 3 where I don't have anything because once I use this on the first turn, this on the second turn, I cannot use anything on the third. And that is a problem. Kind of. Now, why this is not really a big problem for me is because by then most of my battles are already done. What I mean by this is because I ha when I ha when I use my pets in the in the uh, dual scene, I likely go for merge pets because I just want to get the battle done quicker. That is something I have to keep in mind. When I use merge pets, I have to I don't need to make a loop. Whilst 
if I used a pet like unmerged pets like th they can't do enough damage likely the battle is going to drag on further so I don't want my wizard to be completely useless on the third round in that situation I might use something like uh, the luck or relic instead that only has a recharge of one so that I won't actually go like I, I won't be completely useless with my wizard for that round it's it, some it's a really big thing to keep in mind Finally, is to be aware of your speed. Now, I know with all this stuff coming on, like with the new power and merch and stuff, we don't actually like to care about our speed anymore for our pets. Now, this is a problem because we actually need to care about the speed more because a high speed pet in the dual stadium can easily take out us if they just simply have more speed. And a lot of us don't even care about this anymore, which I see as a big problem because like you want to have the first you want to have the first turn. And what what this is what I think you should use is just generally just use the one pet with high speed. Like the other pet can be as slow as you want. If you get one pet with high speed, it will change the outcome of the battle so much in a positive way to you. For example, if I use this Sarah Zag, I will basically always go first. And this is important because I will have the first attack and that means I will be able to deal more damage and prevent their future attacks before they can actually do them. Now I'm going to demonstrate this right here because my Sarah Zag will almost guarantee to go first. There's only a few pets that can go before Sarah Zag and right now I don't have them at a high merge level so... And keep in mind, if you do want to win easier with your wizard, if you want your wizard to do more, it's probably better for you to play um, without merge pets. Okay, here we go. I believe we have mo the most speed here. It's, well, 1.6k speed. It's it's a lot. Oops. It's a it's a big amount of speed. Yeah, we do. And because we have more speed, we can already have the upper hand here. We already know. I mean, I can't do much damage to this guy or this guy. But for demonstrational purposes only, I'm going to do this here. One, two, three, four, five. And just because of that, we got this dude down to a quarter health. And that means since we had more speed than this guy, he's dead on the next. He's dead on the next turn. He is dead. And that is so good for us because we can prevent this guy from dealing some pretty nasty damage to us. There we go. That's because we had the most speed. If he, if he had gone, we could have taken a lot of damage. This matters a lot. People don't take this into consideration and anymore because like, oh, high merch equals win. That's most people's minds right now. All right, there we go. Like I said, pay attention to this. It's it's simple. It's a simple thing to keep in mind. But oh, yet people don't do it for some reason. Here we go. Finish this battle. Boom, boom, boom. Nice. Like that, three battles, one in a row. I mean, it's simple. It's easy. There's really nothing you should be losing here if you use my tips. The only reason why I lose is I'm always experimenting things in my videos. But if you're struggling with winning and you're just losing too many battles, this is the right place to come to. I have a lot of tips and all these things a lot of the time and I genuinely think they're very helpful for players that like lose too much. With that, I hope this video helped with your losses and see you in the next one.